Richest man ever in the world, Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa was a West African, Mali, ruler who reigned as the 10th Mansa, which means emperor, or sultan, of the Mali Empire from 1312 to 1337 CE. He is widely regarded as one of the richest people in history. Mansa Musa's wealth came from his control of the gold and salt trade in West Africa, which was a major source of wealth and power in the region at the time. He was also a devout Muslim and made a famous pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324 CE, during which he gave away so much gold that the value of gold in the cities he visited was reportedly devalued for years afterward. Estimates of Mansa Musa's wealth vary, but according to some sources, he may have been worth the equivalent of $400 billion in today's currency. This would make him one of the richest people in history, if not the richest. However, it is difficult to accurately compare the wealth of historical figures to modern individuals, as the value of money and goods has changed significantly over time. Who is Mansa Musa? E. He is also known for his extensive travels, including a famous pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324 CE, during which he became known throughout the Islamic world for his wealth and generosity. Mansa Musa's wealth came from his control of the gold and salt trade in West Africa, which was a major source of wealth and power in the region at the time. He used his wealth to build grand mosques and universities, and to support artists, scholars, and poets. His reign is often seen as a high point of the Mali Empire, and his legacy continues to be celebrated in West Africa and beyond today. How Mansa Musa is become King of Mali Mansa Musa was not born into the royal family of Mali, but rather was an appointed governor of the province of Mali. He came to power as the result of a series of events that led to his predecessor's abdication. Mansa Musa's predecessor, Abu Bakr II, is believed to have set out on a voyage across the Atlantic Ocean to explore new lands and seek out new trade routes. However, he never returned, and it is believed that his fleet was lost at sea. After Abu Bakr IA's disappearance, a power struggle ensued among the ruling family, and Mansa Musa was eventually chosen as the new emperor of Mali. He was chosen in part because of his reputation as a capable governor and administrator, and in part because he was seen as a unifying figure who could bring stability to the empire. Once he became emperor, Mansa Musa set about consolidating his power and expanding the empire's influence. He made important reforms to the legal system, appointed loyal officials to key positions. Mansa worked to strengthen the economy by promoting trade and commerce. These efforts helped to establish Mali as one of the most powerful and prosperous empires in West Africa during Mansa Musa's reign. Mansa Musa Business Strategy? As a ruler, Mansa Musa was heavily involved in the business of the Mali Empire, particularly in the gold and salt trade, which was a major source of wealth and power in the region at the time. His business strategy was centered around maintaining a monopoly on the trade routes and markets, while also promoting economic growth and development within the empire. One of Mansa Musa's key strategies was to establish a strong network of trade alliances with neighboring kingdoms and empires. He sent diplomatic missions to other parts of West Africa, as well as to the Middle East and North Africa, to establish relationships with other rulers and traders. This allowed Mali to control the flow of goods and information across the region, giving the empire a significant advantage in the marketplace. Mansa Musa also promoted internal trade within the empire by investing heavily in infrastructure, such as roads, bridges, and marketplaces. He encouraged entrepreneurship and innovation among his subjects, and supported the development of skilled craftspeople and artisans, such as weavers and metalworkers. This helped to create a thriving domestic market for goods and services, which in turn increased the wealth and power of the empire. Another key aspect of Mansa Musa's business strategy was his investment in education and culture. He established Islamic schools and universities throughout the empire, which helped to develop a literate and educated class of traders, scholars, and administrators. He also patronized artists, poets, and musicians, promoting the arts as a means of cultural exchange and economic growth. Overall, Mansa Musa's business strategy was focused on promoting trade, fostering economic growth and development, and investing in education and culture. These efforts helped to establish Mali as a major economic and cultural power in West Africa during his reign. From the beginning of this world till today, the person WHO lived with most money and gold was one and only, Mansa Musa. His total wealth for today calculation is richer than Bill Gates plus Elon Musk plus Jeff Bezos. Subscribe for more horrors and mysterious videos thanks.